Hi, I'm a researcher of the Integrative Spinal Research Group here at the University Hospital Balkis in Zurich, Switzerland. Our group investigates the mechanism underlying acute and chronic back pain. Astronauts can experience also low back pain and have an increased risk of disc herniation. Therefore, we are focused on the influence of gravity on the spine. That's why we have to go to Novospas in Bordeaux, France to join the 71st ESA Proabolic Flight Campaign. We assess spinal motor control by measuring spinal stiffness. Uh, with an 80 Newton impulse, we assess the impulse response, which is done by this apparatus. Here you see the intender, which will give this 80 Newton impulse. Um, this will be carried like a backpack during the parabolic flight campaign by the participants. Additionally, we will measure the distance from this apparatus, here you see them here and here, to the lower back of the participant to anticipate the spinal curvature. So if it change, for example in hypergravity, uh, the curvature will we expect increase, we can see it on these numbers. We also uh, like to understand how the muscles react on these different uh, gravity conditions, so we use these little sensors to measure the muscle activity. Finally, after months of preparations, we have the last test run on the ground followed by a final team briefing. Still on the ground, we attach the electrodes to the body of the participants for measuring their muscle activity during the flight. Everyone is receiving medication against air sickness. Thereafter, all passengers take their seats on the aircraft. After takeoff, the Airbus 310-0G travels to a designated airspace and in the meantime we run up the systems to get ready for the first parabola. Well, we are very excited, this is the first flight of the free and we are ready for it. This is the time we are waiting for. First we will assess data during normal Earth gravity. The pilots announce the first parabola. A steep climb follows during which the participants on board are exposed to hypergravity. In other words, everything is twice as heavy as on Earth. After about 20 seconds, the pilot throttles back the engine, called injection point, and within a second, the aircraft goes into free fall, following the curve of a parabola. In this phase, all passengers are weightless for about 20 seconds. As soon as the nose of the aircraft points downwards at an angle of approximately 42 degrees, the Airbus is pulled out of the dive and a second phase of hypergravity begins. Okay, uh, well, we finished just the first flight of our campaign. Uh, we were very uh, successful. We had a lot of measurements. I think they're all ready uh, to analyze. Uh, 
Yeah, we were very successful and it was of course uh, experience of a lifetime. The measurements were very successful and the collected data looked very promising. First indications point out to a decrease in stiffness during hypergravity and an increase of stiffness during microgravity. These results are supporting our research thesis and also our single case study from 2018. The results of the hypergravity condition could also help people with low back pain. Possible new prevention or rehabilitation programs could be developed. There's still much to do.